Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my newest members. Abu Salim, I hope I didn't mispronounce your name, and PJ Parth, thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Members are given shout outs in my videos and they get to see the thumbnail hours before the video premieres. You can click the join button to become a member. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be looking at a differential equation. We have y prime, which is the derivative of, derivative of y with respect to x, equals the quantity x plus y squared. So y is a function of x, so we can write y as a function of x, and y prime basically means the derivative of y with respect to x. So anytime we use the prime notation, it is going to be with respect to x in this problem. Okay. To solve this differential equation, obviously when you look at this problem, you notice that it's not like a separable differential, equ differential equation, so it's not very straightforward to solve, but we're going to use one of the most powerful methods in math, which is called substitution. All right, we use this in very many different videos, and we're going to be using it here as well. So, for that purpose, I'm going to call this expression z. So x plus y equals z. Since y is a function of x, when we add x to it, it becomes z. z also becomes a function of x. Let's, we can call that z equals g of x. Or you can also write it as f of x plus x. doesn't really matter. But when I say z prime, I'm talking about the derivative of z with respect to x again. Okay. So now, at this point, we're going to differentiate both sides and then see what we can do from here. So when we differentiate both sides, the derivative of x, and again, everything is uh, differentiated with respect to x. So the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1. And then derivative of y is just going to be y prime. And the derivative of z is going to be z prime. Now, let's go ahead and explain what this means. Uh, we have the formula for you know, something that relates y and z in terms of derivatives, but we're also given at the original equation. So if you look at the original problem, we do have y prime. So it would make sense if we were able to replace uh, y prime with something. So let's go ahead and isolate y prime here. y prime can be written as z prime minus 1. Okay, by subtracting 1 from both sides, we get this type of equation. Now we do know that y prime is equal to z squared because we call this z, right? So y prime is equal to z squared. Now we can replace y prime. Again, we're doing a lot of substitution here, obviously. That's critical. We're replacing y prime with z prime minus 1. So, so that way we're getting an equation in z, not in y anymore. Okay. Replace y prime with z prime minus 1 and set it equal to z squared. So this is the very critical part of solving this problem. Let's go ahead and explain what this means. Let's isolate z prime here, add one to both sides, z prime equals z squared plus one. Now obviously, this equation is a lot easier to solve than the first one, because in the first one, x and y are mixed together, and it kind of creates some problems. But here, we only have z, so in a single variable, we can solve this differential equation, because it's separable now. Okay, great. So now let's write z prime as dz over dx. That's what it means by definition. And then it equals z squared plus 1. Now, obviously, I want to solve for z first. Uh, and this is a separable equation, like I said earlier. So let's go ahead and separate the variables. I don't have any x's. I only have dx. That's OK. Let's divide both sides by z squared plus 1 or just multiply by dx first. Whatever you do, you're going to get the following. dz over z squared plus 1 equals dx. I was going to write x, but that's dx. Okay. It's going to be x, though. Uh, I wrote x again. So it, it is going to be x after we integrate both sides. So at this point, you want to integrate both sides because we have d something equals d something else. And uh, we want to find the, what those functions are. So let's go ahead and integrate both sides with respect to x. Now, even though... Well, I shouldn't say with respect to x because left hand side we're going to differentiate, we're going to integrate, excuse me, we're going to integrate with respect to z, but z is a function of x, so we're going to eventually turn it into x. Now, what is the integral of 1 over z squared plus 1? You should know this if you studied integrals, uh, differential calculus and integral calculus, you should know that 
this is the derivative of a uh, tangent inverse, or it's also known as arctangent. Some people write it as arctangent, some people write it as tan inverse. Obviously, tan inverse means the inverse function, not the reciprocal. So from here, we can basically write the left-hand side as tan inverse of z squared plus 1. And the right-hand side, the, the integral of dx is just x, but we have to use a constant, so let's go ahead and add the constant on one side because it's enough to add it on one side. So let's just write it as x plus c. Okay, now obviously we want to back substitute everything, so let's go ahead and use the tangent relationship here uh, to turn this into, you know, something uh, nicer, right? Oops, I, uh, I messed up here, I just realized. Okay, so the integral of 1 over z squared plus 1 is not tan inverse z squared plus 1, it's tan inverse z. Okay, here we go. So tan inverse z is equal to x plus z. Here we go. Now we're going to tangent both sides, and that's going to give us z equals tangent of x plus z. Great. Now at this point, uh, you might be thinking, oh, we're done because we solved for z, but uh, z was the variable that we used, remember? So we have to turn this into x. But what is z? z is equal to x plus y, so let's go ahead and replace z with x plus y. That gives us x plus y is equal to tangent x plus c, where c is a constant. Okay, And here, our goal is to find y, solve for y, and you know y, right? y can be written as tangent x plus c minus x. And c is a constant, everything is taken care of, and this basically concludes the problem. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.